Hi guys, today I wanted to show you how to get Linux Mint running on an AMD Ryzen 7 APU, specifically on this HP 15-DB1204NG laptop. I bought the system because it offers great performance with low power consumption at a great price point. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 3700U APU, that's a quad-core CPU with Vega 10 mobile graphics and a TDP of 15 watts. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD, two USB 3 ports, and which was very important to me, also an Ethernet port and an optical drive. And at only 600 euros, I think it is also a pretty good deal. There is a link in the descriptions with the exact hardware specs. I really like this laptop, but I had a lot of difficulties getting it running properly. Either it wouldn't boot, or the graphics wouldn't run properly, or the desktop environment of my choice, Cinnamon, would crash instantly. Nothing I tried was working, and I was seriously considering returning it back to the seller. Because without Linux, it would be useless to me. I spent more than three days researching online and trying things out before I found a solution. And if you think about it, the solution is quite simple. With this bleeding edge hardware, you have to use bleeding edge software. Easy. And I really didn't want to do this. I like stable and reliable systems. And therefore, I really wanted to run Linux Mint 18.3 with one of the 419 or 420 series kernels. I tried countless kernels, but it was hopeless. And I spent a lot of time getting nowhere. And so for now, there is no other way. And I guess I should be happy that I got it going at all. So let me show you how to do it. Download Linux Mint 19.1 with Cinnamon and make a bootable USB drive, like this one. Turn on the laptop, right after that press escape to enter the BIOS options. For BIOS setup press F10, disable secure boot, then hit F10 for save and exit. Then once again press escape to enter the boot menu, hit F9 for boot options, select USB, boot from USB. You don't need to modify the boot options, it should boot through, but if it doesn't, try no mode set. Install it without third-party software and internet connection. And now let it run through the installation process. Now it's done with the installation. Let's reboot it. Now it should boot through to the freshly installed Linux Mint on the hard drive. Let's test that out. And here you can see our issue. It's running in software rendering mode. And you can also see the colors are a bit flat. And the display is quite dim, so I think the brightness is at 50% or something like that. So I think there's something wrong with the graphics, and to check that, let's try out GLX Gears and see what performance we get. Only a thousand FPS. That's really, really poor. This hardware should be capable of much more than that. So there's obviously something wrong, and the graphics aren't supported fully. So this is just on the CPU software rendering. And how do we fix that? After the install, we connect it to the internet and go into the terminal and do an update and an upgrade. Next up is the upgrade. These two steps are very important, otherwise the next step won't work. We upgrade to a kernel that supports our hardware. And for that, we first need to install Uku, the Ubuntu kernel upgrade utility from this repository. TG 2008 PPA. So let's add this repo, do an update. And then install Uku. Once that's done, let's start to cool. And get a list of the available kernels. This will take a little bit. Now we have the list of available kernels. After two days of trial and error with a lot of the 419 and the 420 series kernels, I had enough and tried a last ditch effort and just went for the latest one which was the Linux kernel 5.0.13, and what do you know, it worked out. So let's install it and reboot. After reboot, we are still in software rendering mode, and if we check, 
we are at the newer kernel but if you check the graphics performance you still see that it's nowhere near where it should be it's like 1200 fps 1200 that's way too slow it should be a lot faster and we need to do something about that and update the graphics drivers for that we need the latest amd gpu drivers and we can get them at the oibuff ppa so let's add that ppa to a repository and do an apt update. And this time do a dist upgrade to get the latest AMD GPU drivers. You can see which packets will be updated and one of them will be G AMD GPU and so on. So this is what we need. And we're done. Let's do a reboot and see what that did. And after the reboot, we are done. And you can immediately see the brighter display, the better colors, and the warning that it's only running on software rendering mode is gone. And if you check GLX gears, I expect a way better performance. So let's check that. What do we get? Oh, only 70 FPS, what? Ah, oh, that's because the frame rate is limited to the frame rate of the display. That's why it's showing exactly 60 FPS. We can bypass that with vblank mode zero and then do Gaelic gears and let's see what we get come on come on come on yeah 6000 fps uh, that's a bit low and I, I want more 6600 700 about 6600 fps that's like five times more than we had in software rendering mode but i don't think that's all this machine can do I think Kazam, the screen recorder, is slightly throttling back the GLX gears, so I'm gonna try and run them without the screen recorder and show you the results afterwards. And would you look at that, without Kazam running in the background you get over 9000 FPS. That's like almost 8 times the frame rate we had in software rendering mode. Whoa, that's awesome! And was really worth the effort, so I'm quite happy about that. And that's a really good performance for this uh, Risen 3700U APU. And I'm really happy I got it running properly. So that's it. We're done. We have the full hardware power. See? Easy, once you know how. But beware. With the latest and greatest kernel, you might experience some stability issues. I've read about daily system freezes, but haven't experienced them yet. Just a word of caution. Save your work more often. We can check the graphics performance with another graphics benchmark, GLMark 2. GLMark 2 is finished and this Risen 73700U APU achieved a score of 3085 points, which is quite respectable, considering my previous laptop, which had a Core i7-3632QM processor and a dedicated AMD 7730M graphics card, only achieves around 1900 points. So this machine is actually 50% faster than my previous one. And I'm quite satisfied with this performance, especially considering the price and the low power consumption of only 15 watts. So I'm definitely gonna keep this machine around. And now one last thing specific to this HP laptop, the missing Wi-Fi. For that we need to install a missing driver. First install some needed software. It's git dkms and build essentials. Then clone the driver repository. Then change into the driver repository. Then change the mode of the install scripts. And the uninstall script. And then install it. Next check if they are used. And they're working, so let's see. Do we have Wi-Fi? We have Wi-Fi. So that's awesome. All the hardware is running completely and I have no issues. I can use this thing. Other than that, there's nothing to do but to install your software and use it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit this video on this machine and upload it to YouTube. 
So that's it for this video. If you liked this video, you know how YouTube works. See you another time. Bye.